All right, we're going to do a dynamic duo routine for this next one here. Senesi Motorsports GTE A main leg number two. Scotty and I, we're going to try not to trip over each other calling this one. This is going to be red hot. The overall is up for grabs. Camo Kendall starting out of the pole. One A main leg one, but we know it's not all that easy, is it, Scotty? Absolutely. you got to be there at the end and add up the points. Best two of three rounds is what's going to take it. We're getting our grid set. Let's get car number four on grid. We are locked and loaded, ready to go. Chris, take him to the flag. All right, everyone set to go here. Watch those corners, marshals. We're going GTE A main leg two in less than five. And here we go, off and rolling. All right, off and rolling right now, Cameron. Leading away here from pole, followed by Rick, Anthony, Steve, Ross, Logan, Andrew. Hey, yeah, Scotty's cutting out. Sorry, Camo Candle leading this one out. Rick Simo trying to chase him with him. We're going to lollipop the microphone instead. Rick Simo wants a part in this one. Rick was nowhere. Population one in the first one. Look at this side by side. Door to door. Rick Simo to the point. Simo taking over on that point. What a beautiful pass here under the Speedy RC timing bridge. Now as they come to the backside right now, first and second. Rick wants to take the win, does not want Cameron to take this. Then it goes to A-man number three. Rick, one of the masters of GT, out front right now leading A number two. As soon as he got to the point there, 17290 from Rick Simo, taking no prisoners. He knows Camo Kendall's gonna stay with him here underneath the Speedy RC timing bridge. 16608 from Rick Simo. Wasson back there in P3. Ross Lalek, those two had an epic battle in race one that came down to the smallest of margins right at the line. Wasson again finds himself in third. Rick across the start finish line. He's got Cameron behind him. And Anthony now getting a battle here with Ross. These two guys battling for three and four. And they get to allow the leaders to get away. As Rick brings him on to the back straight away right now. Rick trying to stretch out just a little bit from Cameron. Cross the line this time. Bob, we're going to check a lap time. 16-5. Hot lap from Rick. Cameron says, I can go faster. 16-4 for Cameron. Wasson struggling comparatively on time. He can't get the speed he needs out of the car. We know he's got one lap speed, but he struggles to put together those consistent laps. A bit of the blowout element when we talk about him because he runs off the back straight and gets a little bit caught up. He's out wild and sideways trying to defend third from Ross Lalek. Meanwhile, while we had that, Camo Kendall had a bobble, lost some time. The gap now over one and a half seconds back from Rick Simo, who's still hot lapping 16-3. Rick with a big mistake, heavy contact with the outside retaining wall. That brings Cameron right back in. Cameron now right on the rear bumper, trying to go to the inside, using all of the curbing, every bit of the racetrack. Last lap, he used the grass, trying to reel in Rick. Cross the start finish, I Rick all kinds of sideways. Cameron looking high, looking low, nowhere to go. Hard on the binders at the end of the straightaway. It's Rick still in control as they come around the teardrop. Cameron Kendall throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at Rick Simo out front. He's using every last inch of racetrack. Simo just trying to hold onto it. He's smoother. He's got it more put together and he has track position. Just has to keep it off the walls here. Two minutes and five left to go. Oh, getting caught up there. Andrew Sharp stuck on the wall. Coming on the back straightaway. Your leaders get through. Unscathed. Meanwhile, battle for third as well. Ross Lalek through for third. Anthony Wasson losing out on that one again. He goes back to P4. Rick, a little deep into the teardrop. Let's Cameron close back up. Six, maybe seven car lengths under braking. Down the back straight. There they go. Rick right on it, curving up on two wheels through the sweeper. The gap this time by six tenths of a second. We got 130 to go through the crosstown straight around the teardrop. Rick in command right now. Cameron doing all he can. Try to really this time. Camo Kendall, 16081, doing everything he can to try and close the gap. Samo a little bit wide at the hip. And oh, Kendall into him. Good bit of sportsmanship there. He waited just long enough to not give away the time. Put your hands together for this battle, ladies and gentlemen. It is still going.
Camo Candle to the inside. The pass was clean. Candle gets the race lead with one minute to go. Rick opened the door just enough for Cameron to take advantage. Around the center teardrop, there you go. Cameron out front, but this one is far from over. He overshoots the corner. Here comes Rick. Rick goes to the high side, to the inside. Oh, yeah, banging doors across the line. Rick to the lead. Cameron says, I want it back. Ah, oh, Rick overshot the hairpin. Camo back to the point. Rick trying to push it hard under the brakes to bring it up under his bumper. Bringing it through the chicane to the back straight. 35 seconds to go. Camo Kendall, 30 seconds away from locking up the overall. Rick Simo needs to upset the apple cart. 30 seconds left on the clock. Coming into the bus stop. This is it, Scotty. Oh, man, contact going through the bus stop. They're side by side, they're bumping it, banging Cameron back to the front. These guys leaning on each other. Cameron, big push through the sweeper. 15 seconds ago, this is the final lap. Cameron with the win here will seal the deal. Lock down the W. Can he bring it home? Rick, you know he's going to go for it. Coming through the sweeper. We're at five to go. We're at three, two, one. Time one. And now that is a race. Race to the finish line. Cameron Kendall bringing home the win. Celebratory donuts on the front stretch that puts him straight into the gantry camera. Kendall with the win. It got messy. The gloves came off and it was an all-out brawl in the final minute Rick Simo second here in leg two Ross Lalek third across the line Anthony Wasson four Steve Valletta rounding out your top five. Oh, Cameron Kendall Rick Simo does it get any better than that that was awesome, no, it was awesome. Yeah. the same tight like neck and neck um of, yeah, I was nervous then <laughs> <laughs> Rick, so, much that fun. so much fun that was so good he's such a fucking great driver sorry sorry <laughs> Uh, just talk us through that race. That seals the deal for you. Now, Cameron, take the overall win, but there a couple of moments in that race uh, could have gone either way. Yeah, it was costly. I had a big one out on the grass, and I was like, oh, that's, that's finished. But, yeah, got it back, and, yeah, Rick made one little debacle, and, yeah, so, no, it was, the door it was pretty full on, yeah. And, and, Rick, anything you want to add from your perspective of that race? Oh, top driver, and uh, it, that was a lot of fun. A lot of pressure, and, yeah, just pushed to the end. But I couldn't get him. Couldn't get him. It was all good. So, yeah, love it. Thank you. Fantastic job. Can we just tell everyone again what current equipment you're running this weekend? Uh, the Serpent SRX8, uh, Hobby Wing, 2400 KV, XR8, Speedy. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> yeah, any, other, any other thank yous and shout outs? Uh, yeah, once again, thanks, Scotty. Um, and yeah, PDNR. Thanks, Jay, for getting parts and that. So, yeah, thank you. Awesome job. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, big celebrations tonight, I'm sure.